Hey, you know what? I know a lot of things. Okay, I'm gonna ignore you. Good, because I like being ignored by you. Anyways, you know what? I think Tom Perkins is right. Who's Tom Perkins? I think he was the guy who hosted Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. No, that was Slim Pickens! Slim Pickens was a character actor. You know, the silver-haired, sexy cowboy from Blazing Saddles? He was also a Major Kong in Doctor Strangelove. Oh yeah, I love that guy. Wait, did you say sexy? My tastes are my tastes. Anyway, who is Tom Perkins? He's some tech industry billionaire guy. Anyways, he says that America is demonizing the rich, and I agree with him. What do you care? You're not rich. Yeah, but one day... One day what? One day I will be rich, and I don't want to be demonized. Wait a minute. I remember who you're talking about, and that isn't what he said. He compared people who criticize the rich to how the Nazis were behaving towards the Jews in World War II. Exactly! You liberals are persecuting the rich just like the Nazis did the Jews. Poor billionaires. All they want to do is be better than us and swim in their swimming pools full of money and be left alone. They don't deserve to be criticized. You, you made a bad Nazi analogy. You're fined $10. What the? Hi! Yeah, hi. Why did you beat me? Oh, because I have a new job now. Since nobody liked it when I find you for bad words, Jason reprogrammed me. Uh, from now on, if someone makes a stupid Nazi statement, you get fined ten whole dollars. I rescued you from a Mexican pawn shop, and this is the thanks I get? You abandoned me! Well, we had the Nazi jar, remember? Yeah, whenever one of us used Nazis in our argument, we would have to put a dollar in it. But I never put any money in it, no matter how many times I used the... Oh. That's right, O. Oh. I've reprogrammed Sensi so that if he detects any bad Nazi analogies or comparisons, then the person making them gets $10 docked from their paycheck. Well, who made you the Nazi analogy Nazi? I hate to take his side, but this is a little anti-freedom of speech, Jason. Yeah, people should be able to make any kind of dumb comparison they want to. I do it all the time. How could you, a lousy, filthy, skeptical, liberal, trample on my right to expression? You're as bad as a nut. Back off. See how you're limiting my freedom? This isn't a public forum. We get paid to do this. Barely get paid. Look, I hate it when people compare others to Nazis as much as you do, but dude, this is going a little too far. Well, I had to do something. He was calling everyone and everything a Nazi. No, huh? Yes, huh? You call the people who work at the grocery store food Nazis because they won't honor your clearly counterfeit coupons. Those coupons are legitimate. They're drawn in pencil, and they say that you get free food for the rest of your natural life. You call parking enforcement officers ticket Nazis, movie ushers flashlight Nazis, not to mention the old conservative standbys, feminazi, liberanazi, and demonanazi. Wait, I think I made that last one up. Look, when someone rigidly and humorously enforces their stupid rules that I don't particularly like, then they are like a Nazi. I want to talk in a movie theater. I want to make up my own coupons. I want to park in a metered spot for free. And those Nazis won't let me. Now you're up to 30 bucks. You really like that word, huh? But they're not Nazis. They're just people who have to enforce rules that run counter to what you want. Yeah, I get told all the time by people that there are certain things I can't do. But do I call them Nazis? That was real vague, Gary. I was referring to playtime in the dungeon. And come to think of it, I have called people Nazis in there. But they wanted me to do it. Stop now. The point is, is that the only people who should be labeled as Nazis are Nazis. Why should I? Liberals love to call conservatives Nazis. Well, it's wrong for them to do it too. You water down what a Nazi was when you apply it to people who simply annoy you. A Nazi, a real Nazi, was the closest thing we will ever have to pure evil on this planet. 
Have you met a DMV employee? They still aren't Nazis! So I shouldn't call annoying people or people who won't comply with my demands Nazis because it changes the meaning from that of an evil person to that of an annoying one? Unless that person is a National Socialist who believes in anti-Semitism and scientific racism. But it's not like I'm using the word Nazi in a good way. I'm using it as an insult. I'm not all like, that guy's great, he's a real Nazi. Or, thanks for helping me with the dishes, that was a real Nazi thing to do. I didn't say you were. Still, Fundy has the right to use whatever language he wants, even if it is overly dramatic and inaccurate. <sighs> I know. Just because he works here doesn't mean he can't say what he wants. I mean, if he didn't say frustrating stupid stuff, we wouldn't have a show. Yeah, yeah. So call off your robot, Stalin. What do you guys think? Is using the term Nazi as an insult okay? Because it is. Or should it be used when it's actually appropriate in order to keep the word and the whores associated with it clear? Comment down in the word bunker. Come on, Jason, you know he's right. Fine. Sensi, delete protocol 515 and any related files. Okay. Hmm. Now I don't have a job. Again. Don't worry, we'll think of something for you to do. Promise? Sure. Hey, wait a minute. Did I win this argument? This time. I shouldn't have reprogrammed a robot to censor your speech. I was... Say it. I was wrong. I am the champion. I am the champion. Not really sure how I won, but you are the loser. And I am the champion of the world. Okay, that's enough. This I feel is the beginning of the end of your reign of rightness. Fundy? I, Fundy Monster, am the king of the conference room. I can't take this. Sensi, engage protocol 236. Is that the one where I use my built-in taser to taste you until you're unconscious? Or is that the one where I play soft rock and serve alcoholic beverages? Pick one. Hello, my fellow opinion villagers. Today is January 31st, 2014, and it's Appreciate Your Social Security Check Day, Chinese New Year Day, Fun at Work Day, Inspire Your Heart with Art Day, National Preschool Fitness Day, and Street Children Day. So pick one of those holidays and celebrate its brains out. I mean, Leave that holiday sweaty and satisfied after you're done celebrating it. Ruin that holiday for other people who will attempt to celebrate it after you break up with that holiday. Sex metaphors! Okay, let's answer some questions. The Amazing Flying Atheist asks, Question for Oswald and Sensi. What are your thoughts on the problem of evil and the free will defense? Oh, yes, well, evil and, um, free will, uh, Defense, yes, that's, I know, Dan, I have an opinion on that, because that's like smart guy words, and I am a smart guy, because I'm on a smart channel that argues about things like, uh, God, and, and guys who are like, not God, they're like, I don't believe in God. So, my opinion about evil and a free will on the fence. Um... You sure didn't put anything on the fence, cause it'll get stained. So don't don't put like if you're drying clothes, don't put anything on the fence, cause it'll get stained. And as far as evil, it's bad. Don't do evil, kids, cause it's bad, bad news. And that's that's my opinion. I think. Um, what's the question again? What are your thoughts on the problem of evil and the free will defense? I'm four. Wes Rhodes asks, Intimate question for autumnal and sass. What do you all think of the current men's rights activist movement? 
To strive for equality in all things in the multiverse is a natural desire that all living and non-living organisms strive for. But these men don't strive for equality, but for superiority over the cosmic feminine soul frequency. In the New Age community, we have a name for those who would sow discord in the guise of freedom. Assholes. <laughs> I'm ready to answer seriously. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jason Young asks, If you are Jason Harding and quite funny, do you know Mike Harding? Mike Harding is a comedian and musician. He played the accordion and the guitar and sings folk songs and tells long stories about uh, cough toffees and juvie prison. Oh, and he comes from Northwest England. Is he a relation or something? For the last time, I have a younger brother named Mike Harding. Not the Mike Harding from North England that you're talking about. My younger brother, Mike Harding, is a... Uh, a video game um, designer. He, he's the person that uh, who draws things for the video game industry. He also does animation and has worked on such things as uh, Fox's new ADHD uh, thing. I'm not really quite sure what he's done for him, but he has done that. I have another brother, Matt Harding, not the Matt Harding from the famous YouTube uh, viral video, Where is Matt? You know, that guy that was dancing all over the world. His name was Matt Harding, too. I don't think there's any famous Jason Hardings. Aside from me. And I'm frickin' famous. Augustine Camus asks, Question for Oswald. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck words? I had a woodchuck chuck words at me once. See, I was out in the woods and the woodchuck was chucking wood. And I was like catching the wood and throwing it back at the woodchuck. And then he would get angry and chuck the wood at me. And then I would catch it and chuck the wood at him. And I thought I was having fun. But then all of a sudden the woodchuck was chucking a whole bunch of naughty words like, you know, F-bomb you and F-bomb, what the F-bomb are you doing? And I'm going to kick your F-bomb. And then I started to cry. A Faderous Bull asks... Question for Jason, have you considered having celebrity atheists on the show? I expect that would be difficult since most of the filming is done at your work, but it would be cool. Um, there is one relatively famous atheist that is fairly close to my work, although I've not really reached out to contact her to see if uh, she'd be willing to guest on the show. As far as the other famous people are concerned, uh, it's a hard sell. I mean, am I going to go up to Richard Dawkins and say, Hey, uh, Dr. Dawkins, I'm a big fan. Um, you've done wonders for the atheist movement. Um, you're a fantastic scientist. I've loved your specials on the BBC. Hey, how would you like to get into a argument about religion with a puppet? I don't, I don't think I would hear back. Okay, that's it this time. Remember the first five people who address a question, two intimate questions, in the comment section below will get their questions answered on the next video. Until next time, my angry little beavers, this has been Jason with a Day. Hey, Jason. What? Why come am I doing the shouty pouties again? I did the shouty pouties last week. Apparently, everybody wants their name shouted out by you and not me, so guess what Raul decided? I don't know. Did I get free lunch on Wednesdays? I vote for pizza. No. He has decided that I will host the shout out segment and you will do the actual shout outs. All the time? Yes. Are you mad face? Do. The shout outs. Okay. Hey everybody, apparently the most popular guy in the Shiny Patty segment is here to do your shout outs. Hello, Klangsteiner. My grandpa used to say that he got his Klangsteiner shot off in the war. And then grandma would cry. But no one would tell me what a Klangsteiner was no matter how many hundreds of times I asked. Morph the cat. 
My cat morphed once. It morphed from a cat to a dead cat. It did not see that car coming. Three Berry Swee. Three Berry Swee is my favorite ice cream flavor after mint chocolate ch and mocha almond th. Chemistry student 09. So that's your claim to fame, huh? Being a chemistry student. You need a hobby and or girlfriend. Undead killer. Are you undead and killing people or are you exclusively uh, killing undead people? I love the users. Not so loud or the MCP will hear you and will be derezzed. G-Funk for life. For life? Are you sure? What if you get bored of G-Funk at 30? Will you change your name to G-Funk for a few years until I got bored with it and grew up? Lonely Naturalist. Maybe you wouldn't be lonely if you just put some clothes on. Jeffaroo. Jeffaroo. Your mom was a mom and your dad was a kangaroo. Answer tree. Hey, answer tree. How do you spell answer? Okay, no more. Now that I am king of the shouty party segment, I command it. If you want to hear your name coming out of my beautiful mouth, then let Jason with a D know. Fare thee well. Okay, so you're popular. Don't let this go to your head, Oswald. Then where should it go, my hips? I don't want to let my pants out again. Oh well, I guess that's just a burden you'll have to bear for your popularity. If you're ever popular like me, you'll know what it's like. <laughs> okay, you've reached the end of another thrilling episode of Opinionville. So now it's time to clickety-click on your mouse some of the buttons that are hopefully over here and I'm looking in the right direction this time because someone doesn't seem to know how to line up the direction we're looking at and where the buttons actually are. So if I'm looking over at the wrong side of the screen at buttons that aren't there, don't blame me, blame someone else. Anyway, if you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button. If you don't want to subscribe, click, um, what do they click if they don't want to subscribe? Also, click the link to the Wonderful Musicians. And if you want to go to our store, which somehow has made it almost to the end of January when it was supposed to be closed at the end of December, you can go there too. Also, why don't you click on the links to the uh, channels for the lovely and talented people who lended their voices to two of our characters today. Their names, channels, and awesome stuff are down below in that area down there. Thanks, Jennifer Runyon and Schizophrenic Queen for lending your talents with us this week. How long is this going to keep going? <laughs>